Today in math, we're going to be talking about distributive property. And in math, a property is something about the numbers, something cool about the numbers or something you can do with the numbers. And distributive property can seem a little bit complicated, but it's pretty cool and it's something that sometimes we do in our heads all the time without even realizing it. So like if somebody asks me really quickly, what's 2 times 52? And I go, oh my gosh, I don't know my times tables of 52, but... Two fifties make a hundred, and two and two make four, so that'd be a hundred and four. That's distributive property. So we're going to kind of go over how to do distributive property um, with numbers. Okay, so here we go. So basically, <clears throat> distribute in real life. If I distribute something, I pass it out. Okay, so I have a couple people here, and I have some candy. Ooh, here's my candy, candy. And if I distribute my candy, I'm going to pass some candy out to each person, okay? So basically, distributive property with numbers is we can break numbers apart and we can split and share numbers with each other, okay? <clears throat> we can distribute. Let's start with something kind of, the one I already gave you for an example. Let's say we have two times 52. Now, 2 times 52 can look pretty complicated, but what we can do is we can take the bigger number and we can break it apart based on its place value. So 50 is really made with two ones, which is 2, and 5 tens, which is 50. So 50 plus 2 will equal 52. Okay, I'm going to put that in parentheses because I broke it apart, and you have to add them together to get 52. So 2 times 52 is the same as 2 times 50 plus 2, because 50 plus 2 is 52. And when I multiply it by 2, it's going to equal the same thing that that does. They're both going to equal 104. What I did in my head is I did this. I multiplied the 2 times the 50, and I multiplied the 2 times the 2, and I added it back together. So I did 2 times 50, and then I did 2 times 2, and I added them back together because I broke it apart. I added them back together once I found the answer. So two fifties was 100, and two twos was four, so the answer is 104. Now, the thing I like most about distributive property is when I write it out, I look wicked smart, okay? And it looks cool. So that's kind of the fun part. I kind of like write problems out like this. I kind of like that because then it, I'm like, ooh, look how smart I am, okay? So, Let's try another one. So again, we, we're not going to do distributive property with something like 2 times 5, right? Because we already know that. But when we come across bigger numbers, we're going to do it. And it's usually only going to work if our first, up, our first number is a single digit number, okay? So let's say we come across 4 times 37. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, well, I don't know my 37 times tables, but I can break 37 apart into 30 and 7, because 37 is 7 ones and 3 tens. So 4 times 37 is the same thing as 4 times 30 plus 7. 37. Okay, so how do I make it easier? I'm going to multiply the 4 times the 30 and the 4 times the 7, and once I get those two answers, I'm just going to add them back together. So I get 4 times 30 is 1, and then I'm going to do 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 30 may look hard, but there's this really cool trick, which I think you guys know. You can ignore the 0 for now. 4 times 3 is 12, and then you add the 0 to the end. So it's 120. So 120 plus 28, 0 and 8 is 8, 2 and 2 is 4, is 148, okay? Um, so this is kind of just breaking down what I might already be doing in my head. Okay, and I think we have time for maybe one more. Let's do, um, I don't know, 5. Fives are fun. 5 times 73, because that sounds like a hard one, okay? Well, it is hard. I could do it out this way. 
and totally could do it out that way and I'm going to get the same answer and that's one way I can check my work. But this looks like more, while this looks like more steps, um, it's just because we're breaking it down step by step, okay? But this is actually kind of a way that you could also do mental math. We're just showing how to do each step of it. So break 73 apart into three ones and seven tens. Whoops, seven tens equals 70. We learned that yesterday. And then we're going to multiply five times 70 plus three, okay? Because that's the same thing as 73. We're going to multiply the 5 by each of those numbers. We're going to multiply the 5 times the 70. Then we're going to multiply the 5 times the 3. And I'm going to put parentheses around them because we have to do those separately. And when we're done, we're going to add them back together. So we get 5 times 70. So I can just do 5 times 7 is 35. And then add that 0 to the end. And then 5 times 3 is 15. And so I'm just going to add the 15. So I'm going to add the two ones. 0 and 5 is 5. 1 and 5 is 6. I get 365 is my answer. So a slightly complicated problem can be broken down into slightly easier steps.